Thank you for checking out 3D Products. I'm Donald Williams. In this segment, we're going to show you how to restore a headlight using 3D's AAT system, using the 1500 sandpaper and the 3000 sandpaper to do the sanding, then using AAT 501 and 502 compound and polish. First thing you want to do is make sure that the lens is properly cleansed and ready to go and I use uh, AAT's 503, A3D's 503 spray detailer. My first step is to take 1500 grit sandpaper, which is the 3D AAT sandpaper. It's a dry sandpaper. Turn the speed on low. I'm on two. What we're going to do is we're sanding down all the defects that are in the lens, a lot of your scratches, and we're actually going to be removing a lot of the oxidation that's on the lens. We're going to go in nice even motions and you don't want to go fast. You don't want to groove into the lens. So you pay attention to the edges. A lot of times if you want, you can take and tape these off. And I'll demonstrate that real quick. This is one way you can do it, but to make sure that you stay out of trouble, you're going to want to go ahead and tape it off. Now I've gone and I've taped it off to make sure I can be, not really reckless, but um, I don't have to be so careful with this. So let's go ahead and let's continue this. And it looks like there's actually something on here. It could just be residue or oxidation. We'll sand it off and see how this works out here. Take and spin off your paper a little bit. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure you're not creating a lot of heat. Get the sandpaper down nice and even. Looks like there were some sanding marks underneath this already that we ran over. We'll try and level those down here. All right, now that we've taken and we've sanded it with 1500, we're going to go ahead now and we're going to refine those sand scratch marks with 3000 wet paper. The first thing you want to do is wipe it down. And now you're going to take your detail spray, spray it on, spray it on your paper. Again, go nice and light over the top. And this will get the rest of that residue off and it'll start to polish and refine the sand marks that we had with the 1500. Double check, make sure you got everything. All right, now that you've done with, completed the sanding process, you can take a wool pad, AAT 501 compound, put a little bit on your pad, put on your buffer, I'll rub it in, make sure you don't have any sling going everywhere. Try and keep as clean as possible. Keep the RPMs down, be it around a one or a two on this machine, which is a flex mini. Watch it buff out all those sand marks. Put a little bit more product on there. Now this is the 501 we're adding on. Just like buffing a car, paint, you wanna keep it moving, nice and even pattern. Look where you've been. Pay attention to where you're going, but look where you've been as you restore those headlamps. Making sure you get all your work done. Now you can sand them a quite, a, quite a bit of times, but when you start getting into too many grooves, there's only so much you can do. But they're very thick. I mean, it's a lot thicker than paint. Now keep in mind, in doing this, there is some oxidation that's underneath the lights. Some things that you're just not going to be able to get to. Those are the things you're going to have to show the owners of the vehicle. The oxidation is from inside. How much are you going to be able to do? Now you've taken, just like a car, you've gone through and you've compounded out the scratch marks, just like you do on a car paint with a wool pad. What's going to be left behind are going to be some whip marks. So what you want to do, a wool pad marks. What you're going to want to do is now take a foam pad, possibly go with the cutting pad, depending on how much damage was done to the headlight before. Put on your foam pad here, work it in the surface. Now, foam pads run a lot hotter than wool pads, so you got to make sure you pay attention to that. And you're going to start brightening out all the dull stuff that was left over from the wool pads. And depending on the amount of pickiness you have, this may be your final step. But because we're picky and we want to make sure it's done right, we're going to do one more step with the polish. I'm going to take, wipe down the compound, as you can see it. Looks pretty much finished. Get that extra pop. We're gonna go with a foam finishing pad and AAT 502. Okay, take, wipe it down, pull your tape off, take your detail spray, clean towel, wipe from the top down. Make sure you get all of your tape residue off, and there you go. Lens is much better than it was before.
Not perfect, but the lens has been uh, worn out and there's only so much you can do. There's stuff on the inside of the lens that you won't be able to recover from. But as far as the life of this lens, we brought it back maybe another year or two. Make sure you get it with a follow this up with HD epoxy, be able to coat it and take care of the, the lens with a little bit of sacrificial layer and the wax. We appreciate you checking us out. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel and feel free to share us on Facebook. Talk to you soon.